Hi everyone. Thank you once again for allowing me to come into your home with this new session on how to speak to people about ID Life. Now, the first session we spoke about was just, I wanted to give you some general information, some easy way to start with just four words. And that showed you how easy it is to actually speak to people. Now, those four words can be used with people you know and people you've never ever spoken to before but it opens for a discussion. So you create some curiosity and you allow them to build rapport with you, which is what we're going to be speaking about tonight, which is rapport. Rapport, if you do not know what that word means, it just basically means a way to engage with someone and speak with them to where they have a similar interest that you have. It's very easy to build rapport. The first thing you want to say when you build rapport is, hi. I mean, that's about as simple as you could possibly get. A way you can even build rapport even before that is just to simply smile. And you start engagement with that. But rapport means everything. It is everything when it comes to meeting with people and speaking with them. What you want to do is you want to get on their side. You want to think like them. You want to speak like them. So, um, but the one thing I want you to remember is people don't care about us. They don't care about what we offer, what the history is of our company. Uh, so what should we talk about? They care about themselves and only, the, only themselves. So just ask questions. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, I'm gonna move over here to my cheat sheet here. So I can make sure I get everything as accurate as possible for you. So there's four simple steps that you can take to speak with just about anyone. And the first one is just to simply listen to what they have to say. The one thing I want to warn you about is when you start speaking with people, they love to talk about themselves. You may have to tell them to shut up because they just, people love to talk about themselves. But the thing that we have to do is we have to listen to what they say. Because if they have a problem, we want to listen and hear what their problem is. And some people want to keep their problems, seriously. There are some people who love to talk about themselves so much that they like and they love to talk about their problems. Believe me, I know many of them. They just, they crave for attention, so they talk about their problems. Find out what we can say to them that could possibly fix their problems now or sometime in the future. Doesn't have to be immediate. And the thing is, is that it, may, it might not be the right time. Timing is everything. If this person is complaining about headaches and migraines, a good cure for that, I shouldn't say cure, but a good remedy for that is uh, hydrate. Most of the migraines that people have are from being thirsty, from being dehydrated. And if you give them a hydrate and they drink it, they'll say, oh my God, my headache's gone. That's happened many, many times with me. When I hear somebody has a headache or they're suffering from a migraine, I have one client who she said that she just couldn't function two days out of the week because she always, always had a migraine. She didn't know when they were coming, how bad they were going to be or whatever. So I sent her a 10, a 10 pack of hydrate, three flavors, various flavors of each and uh, sent them to her and told her, I said, next time you feel like you're having a headache, take one of these. If it doesn't go away, try taking a second one, maybe an hour later. And the first time she had a headache, she took one and she didn't even realize it was gone. And the next time she had a headache, which was a few days later, she took it again. And then she still didn't realize it was gone until I contacted her to follow up with her. And I asked her, how are things going with the hydrates? And she said, you know what, Bill? She said, I didn't even realize that they work. And I'll give you another example. The one person who I thought would be perfect for this business is a personal trainer who lives on my street. He actually lives eight houses away from me. Six years. It took him six years to get involved with ID Life. 
So you have to be patient. Just speak with people, let them tell you their problems, and you'll be on your way to creating rapport. Now, um, I mentioned that there was uh, four steps. The fourth step is if you want to pick, you know, fix their problems, give them some options. Everybody loves options. The one thing you never, ever, ever want to say with ID Life or even any other business, do not use the word opportunity. Opportunity was killed by Amway. As soon as people hear opportunity, they think you're a salesperson. They hear you know, alarms going off. They, they, they start running away screaming. They don't want to have anything to do with a salesperson. Um, but when you speak with people in this manner, it pretty much melts away a lot of our fears where you start to engage with people and you start speaking with them and asking them questions about what's, what's your problem? Um, other things that you could say while you're speaking with them. Okay. Is, well, I think I might have to worry. I might I think I may have to purchase a new wardrobe with all the weight that I lost. If you say that to somebody that is concerned about their weight, what are you doing to lose the weight that you did? That's all you need to say. Um, another thing you could say to them is, you know, growing old really hurts. We all know that for a fact, especially for us like myself who are in our 60s. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just a known fact that as you get older, you're going to have more aches and pains. Um, skin care. Yeah, a lot of people, especially women, will complain about wrinkles. Just say, you know, we like taking care, good care of our skin. Uh, I, like, I like making sure that my skin is as, as healthy and as fresh as possible. Uh, staying healthy is the most important thing for our families. If that does not hit home, I don't know what will. And if somebody says something to you like, well, yeah, but I don't know what to do. You can just simply say to them, well, you know, if, if you're interested sometime, I'd like to speak to you about it. I may have a solution for you. It may not be right for you, but you know, the worst we'll lose is just a few minutes of our time. That's it. Um, actually, when I mentioned about, you know, being healthy for, with our families, being healthy with ourselves is the most important part of our lives. If we're not healthy, game over. We're not involved. So what you want to do is you want to speak with people. You want to build rapport. Now, what we did the last session, as I mentioned, that's good for people that you know and people that you've just met. This is basically for people that you've just met. I mean, you could use it for people that you work with, uh, people that, you know, families, neighbors, and all that stuff, but it works best for people that you just met. And another thing you could say to someone, if, if, if you're at a function of some kind, a wedding, uh, a social gathering, or when all this craziness ends, even if it happens to be on a phone, uh, if you're on a conference call or whatever, is just, uh, if you happen to be meeting someone for the first time, just ask them, what do you do for a living? And they'll tell you, oh, well, I'm a, I'm a plumber, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a taxi driver, or I drive for Uber, or whatever the case may be. And they'll ask you, what do you do for a living? Now, here's the most important part, is you need to come up with a first sentence that is so engaging that they're gonna to wanna to know more. So if you're a teacher, you don't say, well, I'm a teacher. You say, I mold the minds of tomorrow's young people. Someone says, well, how do you do that? And you say, well, I'm you know, a high school teacher or I'm a grade school teacher or, you know, and, and just tell them what you do. That's a lot more effective than just saying I'm a teacher. Or if you say, like for myself, uh, if people ask what I do for a living. Um, well, if it's with ID Life, I tell them we show people how to, how to do life better. And automatically, people are going to say, well, how do you do life better? It's as simple as that. You take it from there. I'm not going to tell you what to say because I want you to say it in your own words. And the other aspect of it is with our uh, marketing business, when people ask me what I do for a living, it depends on who I'm speaking with. I'll tell them, well, we, we show people have, who uh, have marketing issues solutions that are creative, simple, and effective. Well, how do you do that? That's what you need to do. You need to speak with people so that they're going to ask you how. Once you do that, the rest is easy. 
So that's it for today. Uh, we have a lot more coming up. And uh, as I mentioned before, if there's anything that you are looking for, if you're looking for uh, how to deal with objections or icebreakers, uh, we're going to be dealing with all of that. Icebreakers are really important because it's sometimes some of the first things that you say to someone. For example, when I mentioned, you know, I'm going to have to buy a new wardrobe because of all the weight I lost, that's a perfect icebreaker to somebody who wants to learn how to lose weight. It's simple. You can say that to a coworker who you know is dieting, and they're going to want to know about that. If you could say it to somebody else that, you know, the only thing is, is that, you know, you don't want to go up to you know, a big obese person and say that to them because they might feel offended. But then again, if you choose your words like correctly, it'll be effective. And again, all this is, is the certain choice of words that you use and the way you use them. So thank you again. We will be having another session, hopefully tomorrow. And I hope you'll tune in then. Thanks again and stay safe. And I hope everybody did their civic duty and voted. Thank you again.